welcome to our channel in this video we have to discuss what are the different tools you have to use in your user interface development like uh, gui so in python programming you have to use the number of tools for the gui so here in this video we have to discuss with the tkinter flask django tools you have to use it for the ui development tkinter is the python interface to the tkinter gui toolkit with the python and also other uh, tools you have to use interface uh, tools you have to use to be wx python and PYQ25, the tools you have to use it for designing the GUI. So another type of, this is the particularly this tkinter you have to use it for the form design. So mostly because Windows based applications, whenever you want to design. So tkinter uh, tool you have to use. But whenever you have to connecting with the web applications, that time you have to use the Flask and Django you have to use. And what is a Flask? Flask is a web application framework written in Python. And we can develop the web application with the help of it. The framework offers extensions for form validation, object relation mappers, open authentication system, uploading mechanisms, and several other tools. As Jinga Django is a widely used framework, Python for web app development it helps you uh, in building and maintaining the quality of web application. So it enables to make the development and process smooth and time saving process. So compared to the Flask and Django, here uh, both are used for the web application designing work. But whereas here, the main difference is uh, Flask supports the APIs, but uh, Django does not support the APIs. So what are the differences we have in the Flask and Django? Now we have to discuss. Uh, Django is created in, uh, in 2005, but whereas Flask is created in 2010. So Python framework, uh, web framework built for the rapid development, but whereas it is easy for, uh, in Django framework, we have to build easy for and simple projects. Uh, Plask is a WSGI framework, but whereas here, a uh, full stack web framework, and it provides the support of uh, API, does not support of API. And it supports the visual debug, so we easily you can debug this data. But whereas here, no visual debug uh, you have performed in design. But whereas in class, this possible. Class calls uh, allows to use multiple types of databases, but Django does not serve for the multiple types of databases. Uh, here, it is uh, class does not offer the dynamic HTML pages, but whereas here, dynamic HTML pages we have. And class offers a diversified uh, working style. But whereas here, Django offers the monolithic working style. And it supports the extension, whereas in Flask, it supports an extension which could be implemented in the framework. And Django has its own modular library and it stores several pre written codes. Flask web framework does not offer the support of third party applications, but whereas here, it supports the third party applications. And the best feature of the Flask is open source, easy for developing the applications. And uh, the best features of the Django is rapid development, open source and a great community and easy to learn. And what are the companies uh, they have to develop using the class? Uh, that is the Reddit and we have to use that is the Netflix and Lyft, MIT. SS we have to use this, but whereas in uh, uh, Django, using this Django web application, we have to develop these uh, companies, Instagram, Coursera, and Udemy, 
all these uh, companies they have developed uh, by using Django. Okay, these are the differences between the uh, Flask and Django web application.